So a few months ago I made a video about making a nootropic stack and I thought I'd revisit this just because I've learned a bit since then and also I need to get this information out there about caffeine and things like that. So for my nootropic stack consisted of a multivitamin, uh, an OptiNeuro and a couple of, I think, Siltab as well. Now, the, for those of you who don't know, a nootropic is a smart drug. It's designed to make your brain function faster or better. And there are various different types on the market. Some depend on stimulants like caffeine, some depend on more natural ingredients like lion's mane and things like that. But they all have one thing in common, that is they all try and improve your brain activity, or at least make it feel like you've improved your brain activity. The problem is, since then, since that video, I've learned so much about neurochemistry and the brain and how it all works together synergistically. So the problem with most nootropics is they focus on stimulants like caffeine. If you get any off-the-shelf uh, nootropic today, the chances are it will have caffeine or some naturally derived source of caffeine like guarana. Now the problem with that is that caffeine is not good for you. Caffeine is a stimulant and it will make you feel more alert and more, you know, you'll have increased focus and everything like that. But long term, it will damage your dopamine system. Now what that means, the dopamine system is your brain's reward area. So every time you do something that feels good, like for example eating, having sex or doing things like that, you get a release of dopamine which your brain releases into your body to make you do that thing again, to make you seek out that behaviour so that you'll continue to do it. The problem is that dopamine is also released when you ingest caffeine. So the more caffeine you have, your dopamine response will start to become diluted and it will take more and more caffeine each time to get the same level of response. Your dopamine receptors will downregulate, meaning they'll become less receptive to the dopamine, meaning you need to flood your brain with more dopamine in order to get the same result. So long term you get addicted, it's less effective and as a result, because your dopamine system is a very fragile thing, you find that less things in waking life are motivating you. So you find that the novelty from things like going to the gym, socialising with friends, these the novelty from these things is diminished because your dopamine system is ruined. So long term, caffeine is not good, but most nootropics rely on caffeine. So I would actually revoke what I previously said about uh, things like OptiNeuro and, and the caffeine-derived nootropics simply because they're not going to be a long-term solution. Things like Siltep are because they're focused on the artichoke extract, which is a, a naturally occurring thing, uh, and it, it's aiming to do something different. It's aiming for long-term potentiation of your cells, which means long-term changes in the way that your neural circuits fire. This is a much better solution than a short-term boost caused by caffeine. So what is my nootropic stack today? And for those of you who just don't understand a word I said, basically a nootropic stack is like the, the things you take or ingest in terms of supplements every day that are going to hopefully give your brain a boost, make you more articulate, make you more able to learn things and retain information and fire your neural circuits. So what I do today and what you can do to improve your brain function is a few things. So obviously I'm on a plant-based vegan diet. That's the main thing that gives me the source of nutrients and vitamins I need. I take a multivitamin every day. I get a basic multivitamin from a big chain store that you can get for a few pennies. And it might not be the best quality at the moment, but I'm still researching how the body absorbs different vitamins. So this is what I'm using at the moment. I also take, and this isn't a nootropic, but this is the same sort of thing, right? It's going to improve your brain function. I take a smoothie every morning, which includes a as part of the ingredients in the smoothie, I include ground up flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, goji berries. And what this does is gives, gives the brain and the body the omega-3s and 6s, the essential fatty acids that you need in order to improve your brain function, work on building strengths and giving your body the things it needs in order to think faster and better. It's not a nootropic, but it, is, uh, it has nootropic effects. It improves your memory, it does all sorts of things for the brain. So ground up flax seeds, pumpkin seeds and goji berries. These things in a smoothie, or even just like sprinkled on top of your cereal or something, they'll do wonders for your brain. So that is my nootropic stack today. No caffeine, no stimulants, and no caffeine related crashes or tolerances, nothing like that. Completely natural ingredients, multivitamin, smoothie with flax seeds and pumpkin seeds, that's it. If I need a boost, then I'll maybe take Siltep, or I will just have a cold shower or do some press-ups. That is literally all the boost you need for short term. Anyway, you can also look at things like binaural beats to give yourself a neural boost. So a binaural beat is, like I've said before on this channel, it's like a sound wave you listen to, which improves your brain function. It gives you, it gives you access into different brainwave states, like you've got one for focusing, one for relaxing, one for sleeping, and so on. But if you listen to the one for focusing, 
if you listen to the binaural beat designed to get you into that focused state, then what you'll find is that it, it does, it works. You know, after about 10 or 20 minutes of listening to it, you'll be more focused and it will have pretty much the same effect as if you're taking a nootropic full of caffeine, but without the long-term damages and, and uh, risks and everything like that, and without any sort of crash or side effect. You just listen to the track, feel focused, and when you stop listening to it, you go back to normal. It's as simple as that, it doesn't have any side effects. So if you're interested in any of the things I mentioned, they're, they're basic things you could research for yourself very easily. Um, but if you are interested, I've got, I think I've got a link to Siltep and some other things, and especially binaural beats in the description. But this stuff is free, the information's free, you don't need to click those links to use these methods. I'm just saying, you should really think about cutting down or avoiding caffeine if you want to have long-term um, neural and brain-related benefits. <clears throat>